Hello everyone. I want to thank you for all the love and the support that you gave me for my anxiety video. So basically the name of my channel is Consolations of God and uh, the Lord inspired me to keep this name because the Lord had asked me to comfort His people to all those who are going through various kind of stress, anxieties and what everything related to your mind the Lord is asking me to comfort you. So I have selected a topic today which is called uh, insecurities. Now what is insecurity? Uh, basically insecurity is a state of being uh, in danger or threat or uh, lack of protection. So in simple words uh, it is basically friends um, if you feel that what will happen if you lose your job what will happen if you lose that particular person whom you are very close to? If these thoughts are coming in your mind, uh, we all have this insecurity. And we have, I hope this video help you uh, as I will be sharing experience scriptures to help you out. So first and foremost, uh, I want to help you that uh, maybe this insecurity the cause of this insecurity so uh, somewhere or uh, maybe you're betrayed by a person in the past um, maybe someone has taken your generosity for granted and all these reasons somewhere you feel that if these things are there related to your past you feel insecure you feel insecure if all these things uh, you have faced rejection somewhere or something other now i have a friend uh, she um, she basically uh, she basically told me once that uh, she was feeling very unsecure uh, sorry very insecure in the streets of mumbai or in india so i asked her what happened so she said because of all the rape cases which were taking place she was feeling very insecure and uh, after a long gap uh, now i had a conversation with her and now she's staying abroad and because of her job over there and she was telling me that she still feels she still feels insecure so i asked her what is the reason she told me that uh, people over here carry guns and they can shoot you anytime so she feels insecure so the point is this my friends that we feel insecure and security is not uh, related to any place it is not insecurity can happen anywhere anytime because it is a problem which is within us and we have to deal with it so my personal experience goes like this that actually two years back i met with an accident and uh, the car literally hit uh, you know so there was the accident was major but there was no prop uh, you know there was no major uh, problems like we were saved by the grace of God there was uh, we were able to you know there was no major thing happened to us but uh, there was this fear within me that whenever I used to travel I used to feel that uh, uh, all these cars and all these vehicles are there to hit me and uh, I used to feel very insecure I cannot tell you that I used to tell the driver that please slow down please slow down because um, I don't know these vehicles used to just make me afraid and uh, the Lord helped me friends to come out of this insecurity through prayers and through you know through a lot through a time where the Lord was working on me and he healed me believe me I started trusting him and I just took out that incident from my mind now I want to share some scriptures which will surely help you please listen to them carefully the first scriptures goes like this which is there in 1 John 4.18 which says there is no fear in love but perfect love cast out all fear so if we have reached the perfection in love there is no fear so we have to reach that relationship with God where we will not fear anything the second scripture which I want to share with you is Psalm 37.3 which says trust in the Lord and do good so you will live in the land and enjoy security. Very nice scripture. One more scripture is Psalm 34.10 which says, Even lion, lions go hungry for lack of food, but those who obey the Lord lacks nothing good. So if you obey the Lord, you will lack nothing good. And uh, lions can go, 
you know lack food so basically all the scriptures are telling us to trust the lord and telling us that uh, the lord is the one who provides us and uh, I always tell the Lord that Lord I am your responsibility you have created me you have brought me so all things uh, you are going to take care of me so there is no point of insecurity if you have perfect love now how how to come out of this insecurities what is the solution first and foremost break away from the past friends break away from the past the past memory which is haunting you the past incident which you cannot get over it you have to break away from it second thing put your trust in the lord the lord will sustain you the job the person who is there in your life see there are going to be changes in your life but the lord is the one who is going to provide you everything third thing we are living in an imperfect world friends imperfect world we cannot uh, there are going to be ups and downs there are going to be things like this so we are supposed to obey the commandments of the lord why to obey because when you obey the commandments you have a different confidence in you because you know that you are walking in line with the will of god and nothing is going to harm you like whatever happens the lord is in control of your life so all these things are there to help you for with to deal with your insecurity and a last scripture which i want to sing it is isaiah 43 one word verse one on words and um, it goes like this do not fear for i have redeemed you i have called you by name you are mine do not fear for i have redeemed you i have called you by name you are mine when you pass through the waters i'll be with you through the rivers they shall not overwhelm you when you walk through the fires you shall not be burned and the flames shall not consume you so friends if you want to live freely you have to get rid of the insecurities because you have to look forward and this insecurities will keep you behind so keep moving forward because the lord is with you and he will take care of you till then bye bye